Students at Boston University School of Public Health use their practicum experiences to study complex issues to improve health outcomes. My practicum over the summer was with an organization called Legabibo, which stands for Lesbians, Gays, Bisexuals of Botswana. Currently in, in Botswana, it is illegal to engage in same-sex relations. It's used as a very discriminatory method to deny people services, to deny access to health care, and to deny quality of health care. Sally utilized her engineering degree alongside mentor Dr. Zaman, who applied his water purification work in Lebanon to his work in Zanzibar. He wanted to see how this kind of device can be brought into Zanzibar, but tailored it more to Zanzibar's needs. So uh, this idea of a needs-based assessment or a formative evaluation is kind of where I came in to understand what kind of device would work in Zanzibar. We found that more um, biocontaminants that cause uh, dysentery and cholera are definitely a major concern in Zanzibar, especially during the rainy season. So a device that tells us if the water is safe for those parameters would be much more helpful. I would mainly spend time in the Kathmandu area doing data analysis, but I would also take the opportunity to go visit some rural areas and talk to the people, do some qualitative research, data collection. And so a lot of things that came up were actually topics on sexual education and menstrual hygiene. And it was a really eye-opening experience because I realized some cultural barriers that I ran into that I couldn't really understand and they also didn't really want to speak to. It's just so ingrained into their practice and me coming from a different Western setting is who am I to say that that isn't correct? Who am I to you know, propose a plan to fix it? I think that comes from a really hard perspective as well that needs to be brought into consideration. In order to have the greatest impact with her patients, Dr. Tonola Aji has decided to put her medical degree to use in public health. It's called um, the Teen and Talk Clinic. It deals with improving health outcomes in black and Latino adults and mothers. And basically it's a, a, a form of social and clinical support that is given to adults and mothers. So we found that the extra clinical and social support given to um, these adults and mothers at Boston Medical Center was actually helping. On a global scale, when we now hear these stories about people in Uganda who are having their photos blasted in tabloid newspapers, and they're having their addresses post, and this idea that these are people who should be hanged and killed because of who they are, people around the world are watching. I was born here, I wasn't born there. Um, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't care, because I, I do care, it's a global movement where we're interconnected and these things that are happening to other people have an impact on us. Patients in Nigeria face a very hard time when it comes to affording health care because there's really no form of insurance. And when they do fall ill eventually, they tend to spend a lot of money selling possessions. They have to run down their savings in order to afford health care. And I feel it's a really sad situation because a lot of people live under a dollar a day. So what money are they going to use to afford health care when they really need it? So that's where there's a really huge problem. If it wasn't for the Scholars Award, um, my study wouldn't have been funded and I wouldn't have been able to conduct my research. I don't think I've ever come across a classmate who just wanted to have a job that was in public health. Everyone that I ha have met at Boston University is so aligned with the school's mission of wanting to make a difference in the world. And I think that's something that should be invested in. Thank you.